a person asked, is it possible to make a stock blade brighter? And my short answer was going to be no. The, the blades, the LEDs in the blade, I should say, they all have current limiting resistors. If you wanted to change the brightness of those LEDs, you'd have to change each resistor. And they're tiny things, and there's three per LED in a 31-inch blade, 55 LEDs. So you're looking at, what, 165 resistors that you'd have to swap? That would take time and not be fun. But there's a second component to what sets the current in a circuit. You have resistance, and then you also have voltage. So can you change the voltage that's going to the LEDs? And yeah, you probably can. So here is the, uh, the circuit board that controls the blade. And where is it? This? This little chip right here that my tweezers are pointing at, that is a voltage regulator. It is a TD6817, which you can look online, you can find a data sheet for, and it tells you, uh, gives you a schematic of how the circuit should look. It gives you uh, details on the kind of voltage it can output, what it does, all that stuff. Uh, this particular version of that chip, though, Instead of outputting a fixed voltage, you can adjust the voltage that it outputs by changing one resistor on this circuit here. That is your TD6817. You can now sort of see it says TD6817 on it. And if we look for resistor 52, we have R52 on the silk screen here. That's a capacitor, probably C29. That's a capacitor, probably C33. This says R53. That's probably that resistor there. R52, there, it looks like there might be a little line there. It seems to be this little black dot right here in the middle. That is resistor 52. And that, that resistor, if you look in the data sheet, to output 3.3 volts, R53 is going to be about 150k. R52 should be about 680k. And there's a formula. The relationship between R53 and R52 set the output voltage for the voltage regulator. And if I increase R52, I should get a higher uh, voltage output coming from this. What I've done is using the data, the formula in that data sheet, if R52 were to be replaced with an 820 kilo ohm resistor, I would get an output voltage here of about 3.88 volts. That should increase the brightness of the blade. It should be just about double, maybe a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and replace R52 with a bigger resistor. So this is my setup. I've taped the uh, board down to the ceramic plate. Uh, it just is going to hold everything in place and it pulls the PCB up off the, the desk a little bit because there are these capacitors here that sort of dangle down. So I can push down on this without worrying about breaking anything. Um, I'm going to try and get in there using this. This is the smallest tip that I have and it looks like it should work. I'm going to try and flood both sides of that resistor with solder and get a big enough blob, hopefully, that it, it covers the whole thing and then maybe I can wick it off to the side. That's the plan. I have no idea how well this is going to go. I'm going to also make use of some flux here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to record this. I really need to get in there and concentrate on this and the camera's going to be in my way. So I'm going to make an attempt at this and uh, I'll come back and show you how it goes. Okay, as you can clearly see, I have removed the resistor. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, that looks like it's a 680K resistor as expected. Okay, good. 
So now I need to clean up those pads that are there and then go find myself an 820K resistor of the same size and then put it all together, power this back up, and let's see if it's brighter. It's kind of difficult to get this on camera, but uh, there is my new resistor. And it looks like it's been uh, soldered in place. So that's a 820K resistor. So now I'm going to reassemble the blade and plug it into my Savvy's Workshop hilt and we'll see what happens. The blade is back together. I am going to put it into a Savvy's Workshop hilt. Let's see if it works. All right, it works, that's good. Now let me set up the second blade. Hmm. It looks like it didn't really do much any of it, of uh, anything. Let me get fresh batteries in there. Okay, fresh batteries. And it looks virtually the same. Hmm. Time to conduct a scientific uh, experiment as to whether or not this worked. The modified one that should be brighter is has the blue tape on it. Here is that device I showed you. It's got three pogo pins on it. And all I have to do is plug it into the bottom here and press this button. And we can see it cycling through different colors. Now, if we bring in, or if I bring in this USB monitor here, you can see the unmodified version in white, for example, is drawing about 210 milliamps. And in red, it's about 26 or 260 milliamps. And you can see that the current draw here, with the exception of blue, they're all under 300 milliamps. Okay. Now I bring in the modified one. Attach that to the base like so. Okay, red, yellow, and look at the, you can't see the current draw because the camera is adjusted because it's too bright. 400 milliamps on yellow. 360 milliamps on green. This thing is brighter. 560 milliamps on blue. That thing is going to eat through batteries so quickly, but it's going to be brighter. So why didn't it look like it was brighter when it was side to side with this one? Well, maybe it's because I only did red. Maybe I should have tried some other colors. So I'm going to reset this thing up so we can try other colors. We'll try a yellow crystal. Put this blade to yellow. Bring this around like so. Turn out the light. Here we go. Okay, that, that the color is off in the camera, but you can definitely tell that this is the brighter of the two. Now, in person, is there any difference? Yeah, this is definitely brighter in person, but it's it's not it's not a wow. It's sort of a oh huh, yeah, that person just has fresh batteries. That's what it looks like. That person has fresh batteries. Blue crystal. And 
yes, even without the lights off, blue is definitely brighter. So I've tried to adjust the camera a little bit here. It's not really doing any help here. It kind of shows you that they're about the same. The camera's not doing a lot here. Definitely brighter. It's brighter, but again, it's not it's not super bright. The wow factor still isn't there, so I still don't think it's worth it. So is the modified blade brighter? Yes. But is it worth the amount of battery that you're using up to make it brighter? I would say no. LEDs, in, in my experience, this is, this is not from anything other than my experience, LEDs seem to, adding more current through them, the, the gains on brightness decrease the more current you put through it. And I think that's what's happening here. We're putting almost, uh, well, geez, uh, we're almost doubling the amount of current going through the blade but we're not getting double the brightness. I think the current that this is being limited to, along with the resistors, you know, that are being selected in the stock blade, uh, I think they picked, a, the designers picked a point where uh, the batteries would last a while and the brightness was adequate enough and that the gains of increasing the brightness really wasn't worth the amount of uh, electricity that you were eating up. I think the stock blade's configuration and the amount of current that it's uh, taking is probably what it should be. Probably shouldn't be changed like I did with this one. So my recommendation is, while yes, you can make the stock blade brighter, don't. Don't worry about that. The stock blade is the brightness that it should be for the hardware that is in it. I think the stock blade, in terms of brightness, is exactly where it should be. And I wouldn't change it. 